hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so gate results are out and i hope you are already aware about your scorecard you have already seen your uh, rank, gate rank and uh, now you must be wondering what has to be done with it okay so you should be aware about it that with the help of gate score either you can go into psus or you can do phd although to get into psus you need very good rank your rank should be two digit and there are other things about it but i am going to talk about the other part of it the major part of it which is phd admission so how you can take phd admission with the help of your gate rank and uh, here i'll be talking about gate rank not gate score okay so whatever i'm going to talk about these numbers are in uh, terms of gate rank and i'll be telling you that which institutes take admission what is the range of rank which uh, they might give you an interview call for so before under uh, before going into that before explaining that in detail let me tell you that uh, everything depends upon your interview performance whether you are going to be selected in an institute or not but your gate rank will help you to get call for the interview okay so certain institutes certain uh, these institutes which i'll be talking about they have certain range of rank for which they call for interview okay uh, so they will call for an interview for only certain range of gate rank and then when you are called once called for the interview then everything depends upon your performance in the interview how well you have explained yourself how well you have answered questions in the interview all these uh, performance are going to make the decision or make the final decision that whether you will be taken into that institute or not okay so this video is only going to help you to apply for these institutes okay based upon your gate rank which institutes you can target okay now let's start with it i have made a list of all these institutes so i'll be talking about them one by one so the first and the most important institute which we have in india uh, is indian institute of science isc bangalore and these institute this particular isc bangalore it does not only takes just based upon your gate rank but it also requires net qualification okay so all these premium institutes whichever these premium institutes will come all they have more uh, like uh, criteria more eligibility criteria additional eligibility criteria because they want to segregate the number of people who are applying for that position okay so isc bangalore you cannot directly apply just based upon gate rank you should also have minimum you should have net qualified okay uh, if you have jrf well and good but minimum you should have net qualified okay now last time csir has changed uh, the results and they have given one more criteria which is phd only so after that we have not seen any like we didn't had any gate exam after that so this is the exam which has happened so we are not still aware about it that whether the eligibility criteria will be changed to uh, gate plus phd only or gate plus net okay that uh, is something which i am not sure about but i'll be talking about everything based upon criteria which has been used till gate 2024 which was the last gate okay all right so for isc bangalore your gate rank should be under 300 okay sometimes as i said exceptions are always there okay you will see sometimes that even uh, someone with gate rank 500 might also be called for interview so don't shy away if your rank is nearby to the range which i am telling you don't shy away in applying these institutes if your rank is let's say 350 don't think that okay I, if i have said that only 300 will be called you're not applying for isc bangalore okay you should apply there are chances that you might be called okay based upon because in isc bangalore there are different uh, like uh, departments so if you're applying for let's say inorganic chemistry or you're applying for material sciences and if they have seats more for material sciences they might call you for interview okay so don't shy away in applying if your rank is nearby to this range okay don't consider these range as very rigid numbers they are very flexible and exceptions are always there okay so top 200 uh, top 300 rank if you are getting in gate plus if you have net there are high chances that you will get a call for interview in isc bangalore next is uh, all the top iits okay premium iits uh, these iits are iit delhi iit kharagpur iit kanpur iit madras iit uh, rurki then you have iit guwahati and iit mumbai okay iit bombay so all these iits these are your top iits and uh, they call for interview up to 500 to 700 okay depending upon iits like iit bombay calls up till uh, up till top 500 then iit delhi calls up till 700 iit guwahati calls a little more like up till 800 or 900 also so that's what it is so if your rank is somewhere from let's say if you are under top 800 
then you can definitely apply for all these IITs, okay, all these top IITs, okay. I think I will add the name of these IITs on the screen so you can see all the name of those IITs. So, again these IITs also require additional qualification which is net qualified also. So, if your rank is let us say 900 but you have gate rank is 900 but you have qualified net then there are chances you might be called for interview, okay. So, do not shy away in applying if your rank is under 1000, if your rank is under 800, 900 and if you have net please apply for these IITs, okay. These, there are chances that you might be called for interview and once you are called for interview, then the next step is to prepare well for your interview, do well in the interview and then there are chances if you do well in the over there, you will be like taken into that particular IIT, okay. And uh, if you have any other particular question, if you have any personal question, anything very particular about admission or something, you can ask me on Instagram, okay. So, my Instagram handle link is there in the description of this video. You can uh, like, you can DM me over there. All right, next comes the Isers, okay, because Isers and especially those premium Isers, Iser Pune, Iser Kolkata, Iser Mohali, Iser Bhopal, okay, these four Isers, they also fall in the same category as these IITs, okay. Uh, same criteria, same range, okay, the, as these IITs I have told. So, premium IITs, premium isers, they will call you under 800 rank for gate and if you have net qualification, okay. Next comes your middle IITs or you will say second tier or tier 2 IITs, okay, uh, also uh, your tier 2 isers. So, in this your institutes are like uh, IIT Bhubaneswar, IIT Gandhinagar, IIT Hyderabad, IIT Jodhpur, IIT Patna, IIT Roper, IIT Indore and IIT Mandi, okay. So, these are certain uh, like IITs which were tier 2 IITs and ISERs like ISER Tirupati and ISER Trivandra, okay. So, these institutes they might take admission up to rank 150, uh, sorry 1500, okay. So, if your rank is under top 1500, then also there are chances that you might get a call from these institutes and uh, remember that these institutes again. Uh, might ask, some of them might ask as net qualification also, some might not ask. So, over here in this range, you might be able to see certain institutes which are not asking for net qualification, okay. So, if you do not have net and if you only have gate and if you want to get into these IITs, then you can look for them, all right. Next comes your new IITs like newer IITs, those which have been very new and which takes admission on uh, at a certain, at much lower uh, gate rank. So, these are your like IIT Varanasi, IIT Palakkad, IIT Bhilai, IIT Tirupati, IIT Goa, IIT Jammu and IIT Dharwad. Even ISM Dhanbad also comes over here, okay. So, these are certain where if your rank falls under top uh, 2000, okay. If your rank is under 2000, then also there are chances that you might be called for an interview. They in some of them they might ask net as qualification or might not ask, okay. So, just look upon these institutes. If your rank is not that good and if you want to take admission into IITs, these are the institutes which are still there, okay. And apart from them, now you do not have like generally up, up to top 2000, uh, generally ISERs, like it is difficult to get into ISERs, but still you can apply for NITs, okay. For NITs, like almost all the NITs which you have. Although personally, I will not suggest you to go into NITs because the infrastructure of NITs are not for PhD, especially if you are looking for chemistry. So, the infrastructure is not that good for NITs. Uh, some NITs are fine like NIT Varangal is fine uh, as far as what I know, but all these NITs like if you cannot paint all the NITs with the same uh, way and all of them are not uh, having that much of in infrastructure. So, Although you technically you can go into these NITs, but uh, I would not recommend you, okay, based upon your gate rank, which falls in the same range. These were IITs, ISERs, NITs and IASC, okay. Now, there are certain special institutes, okay, certain special institute which also take admission based upon gate score and these are specially for a particular field of chemistry or particular field of science. Uh, for example, there is an institute called CENS, Center for Nano Science, uh, Nano and Soft Matter Science which is in Bangalore. Many people are not aware about this institute, but this also takes admission based upon your gate. And uh, even if your rank is uh, let us say around 2000 or 2000 plus, then also you might be called for interview in these institute. But your field of research will be more towards material science and nano science, okay. So, if you are interested in that field, you can apply to this particular institute. 
then uh, you are might be aware about JNCASR, Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Science and Research, which is in again in Bangalore. This again calls for interview based upon your GATE score. Again, if your GATE score is not that good, even if it is 2000 plus, you might get a call in this particular JNCSR. Although JNCSR also falls under some top institutes. So, make sure that they might have certain criteria. Okay. So, just look upon that. Next is your INST, okay, Institute of Nanoscience and Technology, INST Mohali. Again, this institute is dedicated for nanoscience and energy material research. So, if your interest is in material science, nanochemistry, nanoscience, then this particular institute is again something which you can look for. The gate rank is again 2000 plus. If you have gate rank, you can apply to this particular institute, okay. Then there is an institute in Kolkata called as IACS, Indian Association for Cultivation Science. Here again, if your uh, area of research is in chemical and material science, so you can apply to this particular institute. Mo majorly like organic synthesis, material science, quantum chemistry, these are the field which are uh, like explored in this particular institute. So, you can look for that as well. Again, you do not need very top grade, uh, gate rank, even at 2000 plus gate rank, you might be getting uh, interview call to this particular institute. Next is Nizer Bhubaneswar National Institute of Science, Education and Research, Bhubaneswar. And this particular institute, as the name suggests, it, con it covers all the spectrum of chemistry, inorganic, organic, physical, material, everything. So, this is again somewhere where you can apply, even if your GATE score is not that good. Okay. So, these are some of the institutes which are not IITs, which are not ISERs, which are not and it is but still they are specialized institute institutes they have good funding they have good infrastructure and they are well equipped and good place to do research especially if you are planning to do research in some specific field then there is sn bose institute uh, sn bose national center for basic sciences here if you want to go in quantum chemistry theoretical chemistry or soft matter in that case this is also one of the institute for which you can apply. Although SN Bose Institute is particularly for physics, but there are certain fields which overlap between physics and chemistry. These, these are the certain field for which you can apply for. Okay. Then you have Institute of Chemical Technology, ICT Mumbai. Uh, if you are someone who are looking for research in polymer chemistry, nanomaterials, catalysis, then this is one of the institute which you can look for. Okay. Then there is Central Scientific Instrumentation Organization CSIU. Uh, this also institute, this institute also works upon nanomaterials, chemical analysis, sensors based research. So, if you are interested in these field, again you can apply for this. They also take admission based upon GATE score. Okay. And uh, yeah, so these were certain institute, even Raman Research Institute is there, but Raman Research Institute is in Bangalore and that majorly looks for research areas like biophysics and they will look for someone who has good command over biophysics or who has done some projects on that topic and their criteria is little bit difficult but still you can look for the uh, Raman Research Institute as well. So, these were certain institutes which take admission based upon your GATE score. Of course, there are certain which also require additional qualification like NET or something but uh, there is like for every one of you who have qualified gate exam, there is some or the other institute. I would highly recommend you to apply and like more and more institutes try to make more and more applications. Uh, you will see there uh, like if you go to the portal, you will already see that they have already started taking or they have started their admission portal already. So, you have to fill the form and you have to wait for some time so that they will uh, take out the final list of interview like students who have been called for interview and then go for the interview. There might be more than one uh, rounds of interview uh, based upon what institute and how much seats the institute has. But yeah, at the end of the day, these are institutes worth trying and I would highly recommend you to go for that. Uh, one more question you might be having that what is the stipend? So, the stipend is equivalent to what you get for CSI or JRF. Uh, so, you do not be having any problem with that. Okay, So, stipend is equivalent to that. So, look for these institutes. I hope that this video was useful to you. I tried to cover most, most of the institute. Do let me know if there is any institute which I missed or if you have any query in the comment section, you can ask me over there. And if you have any particular query, you can ask me on my Instagram portal. Uh, the link is there in the description again. So, that's it from my side for this particular video. I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.